Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. This is going to be one of my first live videos. I've done a few live videos in the past, but uh, I wanted to do a haul video over my trip. This weekend I went down into Oregon, did a fishing trip. It was so much fun and uh, was able to shop at a few new places and then do some more shopping on the way back. And I thought I'd just jump on here do a live video haul as opposed to a pre-recorded one. That way, if anybody is here, they can go ahead and ask questions now and I can just get it done because I have got a ton of stuff to list and do. Um, overall in my office, I have over a thousand dollars of stuff that I've purchased over the last week that needs, we'll say since Thursday, so last five days, that needs to get out into the mail, hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday morning. And I have 13 cases of things that I picked up at the dollar store that need to be bundled up. So let's get started. I have first up a bag of stuff that I got from Bymart. And I had never heard of a Bymart before. And I saw somebody post something about it, about um, flipping some lights or some sort of beauty product there. Anyhow, so when I was in Oregon, I saw a Bymart and just went, went, went right into it to kind of check it out. And my impression is it's kind of like a big lots. Um, and it was, it was okay. It was pretty good. I did get some things there. Oh, first up, we'll talk about my, my one Safeway find. If you are not looking for this, this is a bolo right now on Safeway. I got to go check out my Safeways right near me, but these things are going for $43 if you're ungated on Amazon. If you're not, they are selling over on eBay as well. So I saw this from uh, thrift to travel. So if you're not following them, uh, hello, Carrie. If you're not following Thrift to Travel, they often post insane finds and it's, I, I love her stuff. So, or his, I'm not sure who, if it's a girl or a boy, but love their stuff. And they had posted this couple of packs going on eBay for, you know, like $90 or something. Anyhow, what was it? It was $19.99, half off, $10. You do got to watch out for expiration dates. This one is going in September of 2019. So I need to get this shipped out ASAP. Amazon gives you what, like three months or something before they will kick it out for expiration date. But if I don't sell it there, I will sell it on eBay, easy peasy. Then, okay, I went into the Buy Mart. First up, I pretty much I scanned some things and then I focused in on the clearance area. The regular prices, I just wasn't finding anything that was like that great. Again, it was you know how Big Lots isn't the most uh, high quality of items. Hi, Yvonne. Nice to see you again. Uh, so, Yvonne, real quick. I got an invite to do eBay Open. Have you bought your ticket yet? Because I'm kind of on the fence. They want $500 for a late purchase ticket. And I just don't know. Well, I, I got to wait for um, funeral information. I had an uncle die last week. That might We might have a funeral thing going on in July, but I'm on the fence on going to eBay open, probably going to ASD. Oh, you decided not to go? Bummer. All right. Well, moving on. So I went over to the clearance section of everything and it, and it kind of had, you know, end caps and you got to figure out each store's little clearance area. So these little tomato savers, I don't know what the heck they do. You put your tomato in there. We don't ever have extra tomatoes. Um, but anyhow, a dollar, they're going for about $8. I think I make two bucks a piece. So these are like bread and butter things. They don't really make your your day, but they add up. If you can do a hundred items every week that make you two bucks, that will add up. Let's see here. Went to the car section. I've got a bunch of this. I don't know if I can pull it quite out. And found found these filters. There was about five different styles on sale, and I got only two of them. And there's some sort of auto filter. For your car. I was gated in this brand. I am ungated in the automotive category and I was able to get ungated in the store. So I went ahead and grabbed those and those were marked down to a dollar to two dollars and things like that. I don't mind trying them out. You know, if I spend five dollars on something and I learn about selling car filters, then then it's worth my five dollars. If I make a profit on it, that's even better. But I'm not very familiar in the automotive category and I think that's a great uh, category to maybe branch out into as other things become saturated. I mean I love books, I love toys, I love games but um, you know there are some other categories that are not as talked about and automotive is one of them. Same with sexual awareness. I would like to do 
be more proficient in that because I think it's a, a category that's not quite as flooded as others. Next up, I'm not going to take these all out, but I got four of these. These were de marked down to $2.99. They're going for $14.99. Now, I've seen these guys on at Ross, Marshalls, a few other stores, so it's not like hard to find, but usually the margins aren't there. They're usually five ninety nine or six bucks. And if they're only a 12 to $14 price range, then it's not very good. But these were marked down to two ninety nine, dollars and they're really pretty. I love teal, love teal stuff. Okay. What's up next? These guys. And I have no idea. I think I bought about 12 of them. I've got no idea what the heck they are. They were in the area that you buy paddles and stuff for kayaks and boats. And so I assume they're, they're regulation things for that. But they're little pieces parts. And they were marked down again to a dollar to two dollars. Price range was around twelve to fourteen dollars. I'm going to make three or four dollars each package. And I got about twelve of them. So these things add up. What I like about these is there was no price tag to take off. Easy one to cover up. No expiration date. Not a gated category at all. Not a gated product. Um, they're just pieces parts. So don't neglect your hunting, fishing automotive parts area because you can find good stuff there let me see here what else is oh my goodness i think that is it for buy mart i will just say that i picked up these guys for my friend because he loves turkish delights and i can hardly ever find them in sugar free so for what that means to me though is if i am out looking for things to buy and maybe even contacting the company these are really, really hard to find. And so that might be an opportunity for something that I could sell. I could contact the company or find an outlet or whatnot to, to get product and then sell them. Uh, constantly doing that. We were at Goodwill and there are dog wipes that wipe your dog down to keep it from smelling. It was something with a dog wipe. Anyhow, I took pictures of it because uh, it had a really good ratio and it was like 27,000 rank which is really good for the pet products um, but it wasn't something that I thought would be a good seller but it turns out that it is a really good seller so I took a picture of the company I'll look around on the internet see if I can find it wholesale prices and maybe find a new product to sell okay uh, let's do staples next or office max picked up this guy for five dollars they're going for about 15 at office max clearance I just kind of I had to go in there for something else, and of course I'm gonna run right around. I'm still on my scooter, but look around and see what else is um, on the clearance there. So I got that. There was another lighter blue one, but it was only going for about $11.99. The margins just weren't there. And then these guys, I went over to the graphic paper, scanned a whole bunch of certificates, certificate holders. I must have scanned eight things, only found one that was had margins good enough to sell and the ranking with office supplies I really do want to watch my rank there because older office supplies there's it's not like vintage toys or something will become be desirable you can find uh, Star Wars things that are probably going to sell from now until when I die uh, but old <laughs> office supplies don't become vintage or really desirable the only exception to that would be maybe uh, rolls of fax paper or printer paper or ink that people still have the equipment and maybe want the refills but paper not not so much anyhow these guys were gosh I think a dollar a piece going for about $11.99 easy quick flip I make about three dollars a piece and I got three of them so my office depot purchases were not very much but everything adds up okay I just got to move things out of the way Okay, Goodwill. Let's talk about Goodwill. Goodwills were good and bad. Uh, I wound up going on Sunday morning. So we went out fishing in Newport down in Oregon, stopped on the Buy Mart, stopped at the Buy Mart on the way there. We did our big fishing trip on Saturday. I had so much fun. I was with Wade Ventures, Ashish, uh, Audrey, and Portland Pickers, which is Jake and Erica. And they are so much fun to hang out with. So then on the way back, um, three people had to leave out pretty early. And the rest of us were like, let's go to Goodwill and check it out. And I also scanned at Walgreens. Now, Walgreens in a port town was horrible. Uh, there was nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in there. Then they had a Goodwill boutique. They thought it was completely overpriced for clothes for reselling, which I, I agreed with. Um, they were really good prices if you wanted to go in there for yourself. But for me, I got a whole bunch of puzzles, which are down here. We'll show you those in a minute. Then we went on to another Goodwill and 
that's it. They were going to go on to an estate sale, but I had to go. Anyhow, first up is Dora the Explorer, which they're making a movie this summer about. So anything that they're kind of coming up with a movie or, or whatnot, I'm keeping my eye out. Just like Pokemon. I think Pokemon's going to be really big this summer. Avengers, Star Wars, etc. So we've got Dora the Explorer. Explorer. Not Explorer. Apologies. Uh, $3.99. She's new with tags. This gal is going for like $72 on Amazon. Over on eBay, not as much. Yeah, this is a big one. She is huge. So I am going to sell this on Amazon, but I will sell it. Let's see here. I could sell it not used. I could sell it collectible like new. I was able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put her on as collectible like new. One thing that I do need to watch out for for things like this is see she's got a backpack. I don't know if she came with any other pieces, parts that may be missing. And, you know, at first glance, you may not notice. Maybe she came with that book or, gosh, I hated Dora. Um, thank God that was a short one for my kids. That and Caillou. Oh, horrible, horrible shows. But uh, <laughs> we're... I'm, I'm going to move on. Anyhow, so I need to make sure that she doesn't have any accessories that are missing. And then I'll bag her up. The other thing that we did was, you know, I always smell my plush. If they smell like cigarettes or anything musty, I'm not going to get it. And I also was checking out the yarn, <clears throat> the yarn hair on here. And this is in really good condition. So I may take my can of air. I have a can of air and a lint roller to spruce her up, give her a little bit of a cleaning. Uh, obviously take the tags off get her listed. You also want to check and make sure, you know, the kids didn't write on her or write on her butt or, you know, some sort of hidden message that you don't want your customers to see. And then, yeah, I will sell it as a used you or collectible type I, object. I'm not comfortable selling that kind of product as a new one. Okay. This little guy I picked up, there's no barcode, but I was able to do an image search and uh, it wasn't amazing, but another, you know, $12 product. And this is super light. This will be easy to ship. I'm always thinking about Q4. If it doesn't sell over the summer, it will sell in Q4. Got, this was probably one of my favorite finds, Boy Scouts. Boy Scout scrapbook. A lot of scrapbooks are so non-name brand, non-nothing going on to it. But I love finding ones with Disney, um, Wedding, Baby, and Boy Scout was kind of fun to find. This was uh, $4.99 and going for about $25. So really enjoyed finding that one. This was the best book I found. And I love looking at the coffee books. Coffee table books. That's what I call them. This guy was half off of $9.99. So $5. On Amazon, a new one is going for a 111. I, I might get my numbers wrong because it's been a few days, but going for right around that $100 mark. So I'm hoping this one will sell anywhere from $40 to $80, $90. And it's, it's big. So the fees are going to be a little bit higher on books like this. With coffee table books, you do want to make sure that you have enough margin for those fees with this. Yeah, I, I hated that, that they jacked the fees up with the books. I understand it, but... It used to be that fees were a lot less. Okay, let's grab this pile of stuff to talk about. This was over in the office, office supply area. $2 going for $25.99. I have no idea what they are. They're like little clips, and I didn't think anything of them. And I have no idea why they are so desirable. Why is this a $25 item? Yeah, I may want to look at this a little bit deeper, but I, for $2, I was going to pick it up. And if I can flip it for $25, that'd be great. Found another book. This one may go to my, coming in late, a ticket. Oh, Yvonne said she bought one and then she returned it. So she's not going. I just got, I went on the waiting list for the eBay open tickets and they sent me an email yesterday saying, you can get your ticket for $500 if you want to go. And I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm waiting to see. A few things. Anyhow, this book is about astronauts, and it was $3.99, half off $2. I'll make about $253 off of it. It's not that um, profitable, but it was a really cool topic. I really like the space topic, and my mother is a huge space person. 
yeah, $500. I'm, I'm really not, I want to go and see people, but I don't know if I want to spend $500 doing it. So the Apollo, it's either 11 or 13, is coming to town this summer in my Seattle area at the Boeing Museum of Flight. So I know that space is kind of a little bit more of a hotter topic in my area currently. This one, let's see here. You gotta know Detroit sports trivia game. This was half off, two fifty. Yes, I don't want to gossip about why I decided not to go, but that is kind of rude of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm not extremely. Th- I wasn't extremely thrilled. <laughs> Back up. Oh, what was the coffee table? I didn't even look. The power of the invisible sun. I don't know. I didn't even look in this coffee table book. God, it's like freaking a 10 pounder book. I don't know. Can you guys see? It's got some very cool photography in it. Maybe about children, children of third world countries, Afghan refugee camp. Village had been bombed. So, very hot topic there, too. <sighs> okay. Back to eBay Open. Yeah, I, I was not super duper happy with what I got out of eBay Open last year, other than the social aspect. I really loved the social aspect of it. But as far as the quality of workshops and learning, I didn't feel like I went there and really learned and uh, $500 worth of information. So we'll see. Anyhow, okay, back to Detroit and sports trivia. This guy scanned in well. It was about a, uh, let's see here, 250. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I agree, Yvonne. So this one was going for, gosh, right around the $20 mark, but it is got a little rip on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some sealer things and reseal it and kind of test out to see if I can do that. Uh, I have not ever done that on a product, but it is something that I kind of want to test out the shrink wrap, re shrink wrapping things, and just something to add to my arsenal. I've got an impulse sealer. I just bought shrink bands for beauty products. Uh, when you have, like, we'll just say a jar of shampoo or a bottle of shampoo, the top lid, I just got shrink bands. In fact, I haven't even opened my box. They're still somewhere upstairs. I've, I had like eight orders arrive yesterday. Um, to shrink band the the tops and that's something that I want to start doing because I do sell a lot of beauty products and sometimes if they're not shrink wrapped the customer thinks that it's not new and I I had a case with that where they thought it wasn't new and they complained and it's like okay the product doesn't come with a shrink seal on it so I want to start getting more familiar with that so for 250 I'm going to try that out on here and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work that is okay this was one of my last finds and it's going for $72. This is brand new, sealed in the box. It even has an FBA FBA uh, sticker on here from past. I don't know, what, what is it? Reverse charades. I don't play charades much at all, like ever, so I don't know what reverse charades is, but the profit margin is $56. It was... Seven dollars at the store, so I'm gonna profit just over forty dollars on this one game. So that's those are the gold nuggets you live for as a reseller. Let me tell you, this just makes my day, makes me smile. Love it, love it, love it. Let me see here. Okay, so I've got let's go through these games real quick and then I'll go through some of my Target finds too because I did go to Target. Let's see, I went to Target, went to Ross, I spent like five hundred dollars at Ross, I spent fifty dollars at Target. You know, Office Depot was just, you know, a few dollars. Goodwill uh, at the boutique, I think I spent $45, 50 on four games. So that was kind of a lot for just four games. But they were worth it. This one is about farting. I got to hide this. My kids are all over this kind of junk, which drives me up the wall. I, I don't like as a... <laughs> I mean, I get it, but they have so many excrement games out there now that it's just getting ridiculous when I go source it's like the farting game the pooping game the dog pooping game everything's about poops and farts and toilets and flushing and yeah poop is just so popular and I don't quite get it so I'm like go pick up the dog poop if you guys are really that interested go do that but this one was eight dollars uh probably about twenty five dollars usually everything that I get at the goodwill is going to be more than a hundred percent return 
which is why I love shopping at the Goodwills. If you're low on capital, then go to the thrift stores to find new sealed things. That is where it's at. And this one is, what do we got? New York panoramic puzzles. Panoramic puzzles do so well. I love, yeah, free poop. Go right outside. We got plenty of it. Panoramic puzzles do well. If I see one that's got a million things. Hi, Michigan girl. Welcome. How are you? Uh, if you see puzzles that are like super impossible, hardest puzzle ever, those always do good for me. If it's like the same picture, um, but a million of them say it's like a million cat pictures, those do well too. So panoramics always do well. 3Ds, anything that's a 3D puzzle usually is a home run. This one was $8. The other thing to look for, and that you may have noticed, is there's the Twin Towers. So that is something to keep in mind too. If there's something iconic going on, like I bet you Notre Dame puzzles and paraphernalia are going like hotcakes. Um, haven't looked it up, but you know, we were talking, well, we were drunk and talking. It's how a lot of ideas start. But uh, what was it? Wade was saying that Robin Williams stuff is going, going really hot right now. And uh, my response was, I'm going to start stocking up if I ever see anything from Betty White. I had some t-shirts that I got and sold from Walmart on Amazon that were Golden Girls. And they flew off the shelf. I was a little leery on buying them, especially buying so many. But the Golden Girls were my best sellers. Out of all the t-shirts I bought, I bought some uh, Marvel shirts panther some cat ones and yeah and golden girls and golden girls were sold the fastest so if i see any betty white man she's gonna outlive us all i love her sudoku good lord you can see the return receipt was still left on a little bit here but uh i think i've bought and sold the sudoku gosh this might make six times now i've seen this sudoku puzzle Come and go in my life. It's $8. Usually a pretty good hit. Um, yeah, probably right around the $25 mark. So, yeah, I spent $50 at the puzzle store, but I probably have about two two fifty dollars worth of sales there. And then this was my favorite one. I have a death watch pile. <laughs> yep, death watch pile. Some Betty Funko. Oh, man, I would love Betty as a Funko Pop. But look at this, KISS, uh, KISS DVD board game. Two to four players. I mean, KISS, does, the, does KISS ever go out of style? Does Metallica ever go out of style? Pantera, etc. I have no idea what to do there. I got to make sure my son, my son loves um, hard rock, I guess is what you would call this. I think. I don't know. He went to the Metallica concert. He loves these kinds of music. I'm not quite into it just because it's been played so much at my house. I kind of am tired of hearing it, but Kiss is very popular. I could probably price this high and it would definitely sell for a higher price during Q4. Uh, you know, we all have that one friend that's a diehard Kiss fan in our lives that would love that board game. Okay, so those were my four board games from the boutique and I may have, oh good God, this bag is heavy. I may have to start going into boutiques just to look for high-end puzzles. Now, out of everything that I scanned, I probably kept maybe 25% of the puzzles that I scanned. So there was four there. We weren't in there but a few minutes before they said, oh, the clothes are way jacked up. And I probably scanned maybe 15 puzzles and books. So at Target, I wanted to go over to Target because they had Easter marked down 90%. And that's why I follow, I follow, what is it? The, I follow a bunch of clearance hunters and couponers because they always are like, hey, this store dropped to X amount and I will go and stop in and see what's going on. Now, I don't know where they live, but they always have amazing amount of stuff. They'll show their target aisle and they have tons and tons of stuff. I go there and it's like a handful of garbage. Uh, kid you not. Anyhow, they did have one item, at, two items out of all the Easter stuff. This and this guy right here. I love Cher, but I got... Oh, yep. Cher, when Cher goes. Cher and Celine Dion. I think Celine Dion will, has a following, too. So this guy was like 70 cents. I am unlocked for Play-Doh. Um, I'll go ahead and send it in. It's it's not, again, very much, but it was there. It was cute. I'll make 2 or $3 out of it. And you can see I already have a pile of 2 to $3 items. I got this bag behind me at Kohl's. This is all bras. 
all bras and all of them are around the 25 to $50 mark that I paid about $8 at Kohl's and at Ross. I got some swim stuff at Ross, some clothes at Ross, some bras at Ross. I got a mosh posh at Ross yesterday. yesterday. Um, so between my $500 at Ross, my other $500 from Kohl's and then add in all these other little things and those high end puzzles, I've got a good haul for the week to get, get moving on today. Okay, so these Dr. Seuss doodads, I love this Seustastic reader. We have read to Seuss, bye she sells, bye Sue. I love watching you. I got to catch up on Bearded Picker today. Um, so anyhow, there was about four of these guys on the shelves. Only one was good. None of them came up with the scanner scanner barcode. I had to type them in, which, you know, there's not a whole lot of competition on those keywords. And these guys were going for... Oh, I want to say $8.99, $9.99. I make like $2 a piece and I got, holy smokes, I got this many of them. So really, really happy about that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these will be easy to put in. And these are great. I'm looking for back to school stuff currently. I'm looking at backpacks. I am probably going to make up some bundles. That's what I'm doing with my dollar store items is bundling. And my son's going to start working for me. So by two o'clock when he gets off school, I need to have kind of everything mapped out on what he needs to do. And I was talking to the manager at the dollar store and she's like, what do you do? Are you having a big party or whatnot? Because there's a lot of party supplies in there. I'm like, no, I sell them. I bundle them up and sell them on Amazon. She goes, oh, a lot of people do that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Competition is pretty bad. But uh, I'll sit there at night and just troll around with dollar store items and find different bundles. They're not going to be under the UPC code. You're going to have to do keyword searches and just kind of match up the pictures to see what other people have done or make your own listing, which can be done as well. So anyhow, these were a dollar. They were marked down 90%, so 10 cents, and I'm going to make two or three dollars a piece. The one thing that I may or may not do is take off this dollar sign back here. And some people will cover this up with a star sticker or something like that. Not sure if I'm going to leave that dollar sticker there or not. It's not uh, that big of a hidden secret that these were do Target dollar days. But people will still pay for Target dollar day things. Let's see here. Oh, I got these for the school. We have a treasure box that our counselor... Let me just drop them all over. Our counselor runs a little prize box. So if you're at the school and you do good, you'll get a little ticket. The ticket goes in the box. And the kids can grab little prizes at the end of the day. So for 10 cents, 10 cents a piece, I grabbed her some of these so she can fill up her prize box. I love finding little things like that for that you can donate because they get so excited. And I'm like, well, I spent 70 cents <laughs> total. Next up, let's see here. I got... These Dove, what is it, exfoliating body polish. And these are the kind of items that I want to put those rings on. So I hope my rings will fit that. There's, there was a lot of diameters to pick from for rings. So these were $4. And I didn't know it when I was checking out. But apparently it was if you buy four, you get $5 Target back. Um, and I got two $5 Target cards. So I got $10 of Target cash in my, in my bag. Anyhow. These guys were, I know I was about doubling my money on them. They're a little bit heavy. You need to bubble wrap them. Uh, I have lots of bubble wrap and bubble bags and things like that. But this is one of those types of products that, while well, you can see it's new. Uh, if, let's say this goes, oh, I caught it. If it goes to the customer and gets shifted around in shipping or something, and this top layer becomes not pristine, they may think that it's not brand new. So this is a, one of those products that I would like to try sealing up a little bit better. And if nothing else, I have wafers, which I don't think I can peel, yeah, I can peel off. So sometimes these little wafers, if you just add them to the, to the product like that, then you know it looks a little bit more sealed. Anyhow, I got to play around with that and see what I decide to do. Hopefully my shrink brand seals will work. And I got three, six, nine, ten of those exfoliating scrubs. So that'll be fun. And it's a cool scent. Wasn't the best on rank, but it, there was no competition. So anyhow, yeah, for, for those of you who are looking to start out on Amazon, 
I would just, as you're going to the, the Goodwills or whatnot, look for sealed games, especially for Q4. There are some sealed games out there that will go for really big money, like my reverse charades that's going to get me $50 a profit. I love that kind of stuff. Anyhow, that's all I have for today. I've got to get working. I've got tons of stuff everywhere here. Uh, I've got shipments that came in and 13 cases of dollar store stuff that I've got to figure out how it's going to be bundled up and then very detailed instructions for my son. My son is uh, 14. Yeah, he'll be 15 next, well, in June. And man, you have to tell him exactly how you want something. So I've got to think that through, maybe do some pictures. And while I'm doing all that, I'm just going to create that file probably on a Google Drive do it by ASIN and just kind of how I want it packaged so that way I can just keep those replenishables going. That's what I'm trying to do with all of my dollar store items and wholesale items so that when they need to be replenished, I can just get them ordered and then have him look up the ASIN, see how to package them up, what bags to use, what labeling to use, do they need a, you know, this is a set sticker or whatnot, and then... Um, he can earn a little bit of extra money that way. I figured I'm paying for his junk anyways. I may as well get some labor out of it. All right, guys, you guys have an awesome day. Yvonne, you have a great day. Everybody else as well, you have an awesome day. Take care. I got to figure out how to shut.